Don't need to take the whole tablecloth with me. Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> the song is very fitting. Um, it is way too early <laughs> for me to be doing this. It's about 4.30 in the morning, and uh, this is the only time I'm going to have to record this today. So, hi, good morning, hello. It's Saturday, and this is my I just woke up face because I just woke up. And I'm trying not to be too loud because all of my neighbors are still sleeping and I am a considerate neighbor. Um, got our coffee here. Everybody grab your coffees and come settle in on this fine Saturday before Father's Day. Uh, this is a completely different uh, drink today. I'm switching and going way left. Um, this is an iced Americano made at home. Um, in my Keurig and <laughs> with just a splash of my silk soy creamer uh, and as I said iced. Um, so basically espresso and water because <sighs> I got a very long day ahead of me but I wanted to uh, get this done now because I don't want to have to take my camera because I'm going to Vegas today and I'm very excited. I'm going to pick up the Jaclyn Hill Vault, uh, which if you're not into makeup, what I just said makes no sense, but thank you to anybody who watched last week, um, I was uh, not sure if and how I would be able to get one out, and so that's why I said might and didn't, and that's okay, uh, because sometimes I think it's important to just deal with your life stuff and then come back to creative things. So I don't want to, um, I do enjoy making these and I do want to get back to getting into them consistently, but I don't want to get to the point where it's like taking over my life and I have to like, you know, always have my camera or like leave my family for a while and go do this and it doesn't take a whole lot of time because as you can tell, I don't edit these. It's very just, uh, mouth, uh, not mouth. I need my coffee. <laughs> it's very just like brain diarrhea, like whatever I say is just like my stream of consciousness for several minutes, so it doesn't require a ton of editing. It's more so just like the having to get everything ready and go record, and I like for the quality to be at least decent. Um, today's is not going to be all that great. Uh, as you can see, some yellow light coming in from this way. There's no sunlight, which is uh, some of the natural lighting that I used in my videos because it's usually later in the morning and uh, since it's so much earlier I have to use lights from my apartment so I don't look completely washed out with my ring light because uh, I won't look like a ghost. But I'm hoping to get a little bit of a tan in Vegas because um, it's about a thousand degrees there right now and so that should be pretty exciting. But I'm home right this second so that's why I wanted to tell the story. I was kind of going back and forth and thinking okay I could do Coffee with Cass uh, from Vegas, but I can't check into the hotel until later in the afternoon, and so it seemed kind of uh, ridiculous to me to um, wait to have coffee until like later on in the day, and then I thought, well, maybe I could do a Cocktails with Cass in a Vegas hotel room, because that might be exciting, and um, it's a very quick trip, so I don't want to like <laughs> just go and sitting and get drunk in my hotel room alone, as fun as that sounds, I I, <laughs> I don't think um, it's worth lugging my camera with me and all my equipment, um, especially because it's, uh, yeah, it's too short of a trip. Uh, at any rate, I've been mentioning that I would tell the story of this here dog painting, and um, so the baby is sleeping right now, and by the baby I mean my dog. And so I don't want to wake him up. I know he would be very sleepy and cute right now, but I uh, want him to not be running around and noisy. It's also unusually quiet because he's sleeping. So let's just keep that going. It's kind of like that thing, you know, um, you're never supposed to wake a sleeping baby. Not that my dog wouldn't go back to sleep. All I have to do is literally just put a blanket over him and he tucks himself in and goes to bed. But um, I just don't want to have a weird, awkward pause where I go wake him up and bring him in here. Like, you've seen him, you know who he is. So the little duker, um, I guess I can also tell the story of how I got him to kind of fill in the time. So backstory on Duke. Uh, Duke is my dog and, um, he's three now. That was gross. <laughs> 
And I've had him since he was eight weeks old, uh, either six or eight, I can't remember um, how old you can have puppies at, but the soonest that I could have him was the soonest that I got him. And so um, people ask all the time if he's a rescue um, or like what the deal is with him. Technically he's a rescue, but I don't always like to talk about it because it's not a situation where animal control had to come in and take him and his sisters out of there or any other puppies that this dog had. Um, I got him from a family out in Downey, California, which is where, uh, it's not too far from where I lived when I first moved here. Um, I lived in South Pasadena, so it was like 10 miles away, which in LA terms on that side of town is like 15 to 20 minutes. So it wasn't super far um, for me to go pick him up. So what happened was, when I first moved here, I was living in a guest house, and um, I didn't have my cat here. I think she wasn't allowed because um, the furniture wasn't mine, and so the owners didn't want um, any like pet hair and stuff on the furniture, so that was fine. My cat had lived with my parents since I was in college, and then... Um, I did let them know though that I wanted to get a small dog and so they had said that it would be fine, you know, they want, they had just had a baby and so they wanted for their kids to experience what it would be like to have a puppy around but not necessarily have all the responsibilities so I took it upon myself to get a dog and so I did. Um, so the original plan was um, when I moved to LA I wanted to get a little weenie dog and I found a rescue in the area that um, sounded like it, I would be able to get one. The problem was they wanted you to do like a home check and then you have to foster dogs for several months and there were like all these steps that just seemed like way longer than I wanted. And it's not saying that I wanted to be able to just like pick up a dog that day, but like I think you had to foster for at least six months and I didn't even know that I was going to be living in that same place for six months so it didn't really make sense for me to kind of go through with that and so that's how I ended up with Duke who is not a pure uh, Dachshund miniature pincher or, or I'm sorry he's not a pure Dachshund <laughs> spoiler alert he's a Dachshund miniature pincher so he is a mixed breed dog that's why he has like the the chest and kind of the frame of a Dachshund, but he's got a little bit of longer legs and a tail. Um, everybody always comp either compliments or comments on his ears because they are pretty big to his body, but he's so cute. And I, it was one of those things where um, I went to the house and um, it didn't seem like a horrible situation, but it, it was like kind of dirty and a little bit not the best and so I went and I met him and um, to preface this part of the story he had two sisters and they were both like pure tan and I was not into it I specifically wanted a black and white weenie dog and so I was like okay I'm already compromising on the breed which I don't necessarily endorse puppy mills and didn't want a purebred dog but just something similar was fine and so that was something that I wasn't super into bending on so I was like there's one left I'm gonna get him so I was originally just supposed to go and meet him and then see kind of how it went and as soon as I held him I was like this is my dog I love him I want to bring him home so I texted the owners and I was like you know what like I just fell in love with this dog would you guys be okay if I brought him home and they said yes so that's how I got my little boyo and I brought him home the same day and went to like PetSmart and I thought I lost him shortly after I got him because um, he was in the car and I had put him on the seat because he was like this big when I got him. He was very tiny and still is pretty tiny for a three year old dog. Everybody asks me all the time if he's fully grown, if he's a little puppy. I'm like nope, this is as big as it gets, he's three. Um, so he fit into my hands when he was a little puppy and so I put him on the seat, went into PetSmart, got all his stuff and then came back out and he was gone and I was like oh my god did I forget to lock the doors and someone just like took my puppy like what's going on and then I looked under my seat and he had like finagled himself down there and so I had to pull him out and he just sat in my lap the whole time and was looking up at me like I don't know what's going on but I'm going with you and I've been so very happy ever since because that's it's my little guy 
and um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, um, I went through several names when trying to pick one for him, and the only reason I didn't want to name him Duke was because I have an aunt that lives in Oklahoma, and she had a dog named Duke when I was growing up, and so I didn't want to uh, recycle the name. Uh, so he was named Louis C.K. 9 for a little bit. Uh, glad I dodged that bullet. I consider naming him Mr. Bean, Dobby, like just so many different like cutesy little names. But then one day I just woke up and I thought like, his name's Duke. That's, that's the end of it. And um, so now it's been three years and we're still happy and together. Longest relationship I've ever had. <laughs> but I really do love... Um, my little guy. Being being a dog mom has been completely different. I was always a cat lady in college, and then as soon as I got my dog, I like hard left this way for me. Um, I'm sorry, I'm also stuffy and gross. I don't want to blow my nose on camera because it's just weird, but it's first thing in the morning, so I'm just a little, little bit of a mess. Um, so anyway, that whole story brings me to this here painting. So this painting, I'm going to tilt the camera up just so you can see it in all of its glory. That is my painting. Um, so it looks, <laughs> it's kind of like, there's a picture that Jenna Marbles has of a bunch of dachshunds drowning or like floating in water. So it sort of reminds me of that. Um, the quick version of this story is I saw it in Home Goods um, up in the valley and it made me laugh instantly. And I took a picture <laughs> and sent it to everybody. I was like, oh my god, and they're like, is that a picture of Duke? And I was like, no, but I just found it at this home goods, and so I'm going to get it. So I did. Um, I did not have this picture painted of my dog. Let's focus right here. There we go. Um, I just found it in a home goods randomly, and it made me laugh so hard. And it wasn't super expensive. It was like less than 20 bucks, I think. And um, I, w I saw it, and I thought, I can't leave the store without this painting. So I bought it, and oftentimes when people will come over to visit from out of town or wherever, they ask, oh, is that a painting of your dog? And no, it's not. It just matches perfectly. My dog even has the same orange little ball because he has a small mouth, so he has to have the smaller ones, not the regular sized dog ones. So I always think that's funny. Um, it's been a staple in my apartment for, uh, I want to say, I don't know how long, but it is definitely one of my favorite paintings and pieces of art that I have. My kitchen is, um, there's another painting here that you guys can see that I did at Paint Bar in Boston. Um, but that's kind of like the uh, decor that I have in my kitchen are um, canvas paintings. So that's, that's the theme of my kitchen and dining area. But yeah, um, so that's the whole story of um, this painting. I don't know that there really is a long story. Um, I think it was just that at one point I was sh actually shopping for rugs because um, my entire apartment is some form of like hard flooring and so I wanted a rug for my living room to put under my coffee table and so I didn't end up finding one that trip but I did find this painting and so I brought it home and now it's just gonna be my piece of uh, funny art. Um, but anyway, um, it's it's time for me to get going on the old dusty trail. So thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know what time this is going to go up because I don't know what um, is going to end up happening. I'm going to try to get this up when I get to Vegas. Um, I have to take the little one to daycare so that I can go down to um, the Morphe store in the morning. Uh, it is morning, but you know, just go do all that. I am going to get ready because I'm not going to look like this when I meet the queen of beauty. Um, but I did want to get this done before then. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I will see you next Saturday. Bye!